Hello, in this video I want to discuss Boris Johnson. The beast has been wounded. But notice, even though the beast has been wounded unto death, still, like you chop a head off a snake, the nerve still wriggle. Even though you chop the head off a snake, that evil snake, still, that snake wriggles still got life in it the beast even though he's been wounded unto death is still performing stage magic you see boris johnson said that I'm doing my work for Britain. I'm giving people what they want. Even though people are starving, Russia says that England will, be, will turn towards cannibalism. And we're close to it now. Right? You've got high-rising inflation, food banks. Even nurses and doctors are eating at the food banks. And the grains you know, are not being imported into UK, meaning it's, it's an economic pandemic, it's a crisis. People are starving. People are having to cut down on the expenses. And instead of buying nice oysters and beautiful fish, they're now living on dry grains and pasta and rice. If you go into the supermarkets, any supermarket, you name them, any supermarket, you got the wrath of God on these supermarkets. The shelves are empty. Now, look, you say, what's this got to do with the beast has been wounded unto death? The beast, Boris Johnson, that big bad beast. Well, I made videos, loads of videos, and I said that Boris Johnson was going to be used by powers outside of the House of Commons, powers that's going to keep him in office until he destroys and devastate Britain. Why? Because of a prophecy, a dream I had. Three times or four times I had this dream, started from 2015, that an earthquake was going to shatter Britain. An earthquake. And I stood by this dream. In a second, I'm going to give you the lies that Boris Johnson has done. And still, he can't be moved. Never in history have you seen a dictator sitting in the House of Commons. And you can't shift he or she. Never in the history of British politics. In other words, democracy in England is dead. Democracy, from the time they went to an illegal war with Iraq and, and millions of people went on the streets shouting, we don't want any war, and they ignored the people. Democracy was dead. You begin to realize the government run themselves. They, they don't care about the masses. They just sell you the illusion that we live in a democracy because they want your votes. But in the end, it's multinational companies that they work for. That's another video. But... This is a long list of lies that Boris Johnson, this beast, he's been wounded unto death, but still you can't get rid of him. Christmas Partygate, Watergate, and he goes on. Brexit spending, he lied. He even, Her Majesty the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, misled the Ma Her Majesty the Queen, the head of England, head of the church, sovereignty. He lied, this beast stood before Her Majesty and he lied. Hillsborough disaster, extramarital affairs, journalism, new hospitals that never been built and so on and so on and so on. And still, still his own party can't get rid of him. And he says, I'm staying here to fight because I want to give Britain what they deserve. You're right, give Britain what they deserve. The punishment that is coming from God and Boris Johnson. I made videos and I said Boris Johnson is going to be that punishment. God is going to use that King Nebuchadnezzar to crush Britain. Do you know Boris Johnson and his 
satanic, you know, side piece, least trust, I believe, together, together, they go, they go in against the island protocol. They're going to scrap some of the EU contractual agreement. They signed it indeed. And they said, forget it. You know, look, I've studied law. Okay, I've got a paralegal qualification. If you sign something, and this is not something that was readily thought of. They've come through it. They've gone through it. They've gone through the process. And he agreed. Okay, let's sign. But he might agree just for political purposes, but his intentions weren't there. He knew that he was going to take the EU for a ride. He knew that he, he, he doesn't respect, he has no integrity. He's in it for his own career. He's in it to save his neck. And you know something? Didn't God use the right psychology, the right person to ruin Britain? One that cared only about himself. All he cares about is his own world and you know his wife and his children. You know, I mean, his wife, I believe she was going to be an advisor. This is their called democracy. She wasn't even elected. She's not even a member of parliament. Yet his wife was giving him advice on the country's affair. Yet we're supposed to live in a democracy. Sounds more like a banana republic. But this says it's a democracy. Whatever you tell me, I accept. But the evidence is far from it. However, back to the subject. God has chosen the right candidate to use as an instrument in which to send earthquake into Britain. You think that this, this war in Ukraine that's going to damage British economy, you think this is it? You really think the people are crying out, they're living in soup kitchens. You think this is it? There is worse to come. All these fake prophets, all, all these fake prophets and all these pastors who are quiet. And here am I, and I'm telling you, come on Zoom and debate me on my dream and prophecy. Come on Zoom and debate me. All these prophets taking money out of you, and they can't even tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, I've been making videos saying that this EU deal was going to collapse. I said it will not. I said in the, in, in, in the video, I don't know how it's going to happen, but trust me, it's going to fail. And I also made another video saying that God was going to use Boris Johnson to destroy Britain. I can see King Nebuchadnezzar image in Boris Johnson. You look at him, stubborn, pig neck. Oh, only a leader can stand in front of a business audience and talk about pigs. pepper pigs and walk away felt like he's an intelligent person the emperor has no clothes on yet still people follow this this magician trick people follow it why they want to be deceived and that's why Boris Johnson is not going anywhere number one He's put there by higher power. And number two, he knows that people, they said, treat them mean, keep them keen. Treat them mean, keep them keen. These politicians, they know your psychology. They know how to manipulate you. They know your weakness. Oh, get Brexit done. I've got Brexit done. They use certain rhetoric to get you going, to control the pulses in your mouth. So you start salivating like Ivan Pavlov or Skinner and his dog, behavior psychologist. They know how you work. Just like pastors, you know, they know how to manipulate you with fake praise and worship and heal song. They know what makes you tick, how they manipulate you. And Boris Johnson knows how to manipulate the, the British public. He knows what makes them tick. He knows if I... If my popularity goes down, all I have to do is find out their weaknesses and I will use it. If I mention just one word, Rwanda, that was a deflection ploy from himself and his party gate. Boris, Boris Johnson stands for nothing but his own survival. He admitted that £100,000 was not good enough for him to live on. 
because he, uh, allegedly he's got six kids from six different, six different women. I don't know how true that is. This must be a conservative family values. And he's got six kids from six different women. No, I don't know how true that is, but if you look it up, you, you'll find sources that will validate that. This is that. This is a man that Britain has, has, you know, vaulted into power through some kind of default. But no, he did win by some landslide victory because he gave them Brexit, and as a result, that spell has stuck in their brain. And that spell is what's going to destroy England. I says England is finished. And I stand by it. You think this starvation, the horse of pestilence, you think this famine, this is it? No. The, the worst is yet to happen. The worst. Russia already says that England will turn to cannibalism. Start eating each other's flesh. England will turn to cannibalism and start eating each other's flesh, according to Putin. Why? There'll be no wheat, no rice. The Bible says, uh, regarding Revelation, although some people claim it's regarding to Britain, move away from her, don't come away from her, people won't trade with her. But some say it's EU. You know, people pick and choose how they want it to suit their political prejudices. They don't look to scripture as to see whether it was already, it already happened. They're trying to pretend it fits to this, you know, modern day to fit their political prejudices. Okay. However, in regards to this, it's interesting how Britain is isolating herself from the world. And I said that she will crumble. Britain was once a Christian country. She's now into paganism. Anything goes, anything. Bring your rag and your cloth. Bring everything, your rags and your trash. Bring it. And Britain will support it. Anything goes in Britain. Anything filthy. Apart from the Christian faith. If you are a practicing Christian, you can lose your job and your faith. You could lose everything if you that one doctor, the Christian doctor, because he did this six foot five, you know, guy, muscular, muscular, you know, bigger than me, six foot five, and said, Oh, I'm a woman. And the doctor only saw a six foot five guy walking in with a beard. And the doctor refused to play the game. And he got fired for practicing his Christian faith. There's many cases like these, many cases where Christians are losing their jobs in Britain. Yet these prophets are claiming, false prophets, that God's going to bless Britain and America. For what reason? I'm going to make loads of videos how far right wing fake Christians and, and false, you, you know, far right wing who are infiltrating the church. They don't even believe in Jesus. They just have a political agenda. I want to make loads of videos of this area because the church is used purely for voting. They don't really believe in anything. They're just using the church as a, as a, how can I put it, a fertile ground, potential voters. And Christians don't know who the hell they are, which is why we follow Kanye West. We are folding for it. We follow Hillsong, thinking they need to praise and worship. We fall for it. Because we have no foundation. We don't know what we believe in anymore. Apart from, oh, bless me, God, give me plenty of money, affirmation prayers. New age prayers, affirmation. That's what we're now into. Money prayers. Oh, I've got to get out of here.